All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here for some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 news and content. Today, we have a major update in regards to rare items for the Time Patrol Metal Shop. They're doing this lineup change. It's going to last for about seven different weeks. I'm looking forward to it because myself, I'm missing a bunch of rare items in regards to Super Souls, costumes, accessories, all that good stuff. So without further ado, make sure to drop a like on today's video on the top straight into it. So this just dropped today. On the 20th of April, it says new Canton City Time Patrol Metal Shop item lineup change. Items will be added to the Time Patrol Metal Shop where you can purchase various CC mascots, loading screens, illustrations, costumes, accessories, and techniques according to the schedule below, which we will break down. These are rare items that are usually hard to find. So please take advantage of this opportunity. So first and foremost, as you guys know, they're going to be removing the sales of Time Patrol medals across all the shops. The Nintendo shop, PlayStation, and Xbox shops, right? So I feel like they're trying to push us into purchasing some of those different bundles before they remove them from the store obviously it's our choice we don't have to if we don't want to totally up to y'all if you guys don't know they're going to be gone on may 16th however me personally i'm just going to be playing the game normally you know because we do get a bunch of medals through the different missions that they have you know Hero quest missions expert raid missions crystal raid missions whatever it may be you know they're pretty generous in handing out time patrol medals through the game already and you know what would be even better if they provide one of those times two boost experience points for time patrol medals you guys know how sometimes they do that uh that would be great if they throw out one of those events during one of these weeks just because there's a plethora of items to choose from or to purchase of course with in-game currency and again, I don't have all the rare items. At least I don't think. For example, Tapion's outfit, right? You know how there's many different color variations of that same outfit. I don't even have one of them. I don't even have the original one, I don't think. But we're not entirely sure which items are going to be in the Time Patrol shop for each week. So we do have to log into Xenoverse 2 and see what they have. They, you know, they're just stating the basics. Like there's going to be two different mascots, three different ultimates. Again, we don't necessarily know which ultimates, right? So for the very first week, it starts tomorrow, mind you, on the 21st of April through the 27th. We're going to be getting two different types of mascots, three ultimate techniques. Don't know which ones. Two different types of gifts five super souls and 24 illustration art pieces i hope we can purchase some of the raid quest super souls because obviously those drop whenever there's a raid quest going on so it, it's you know based off time pretty much so we can't necessarily buy it whenever we want so if they throw those in here then that would be great to see i know i'm missing a bunch from the previous update we got about like 10 or 11 different super souls i'm still missing a bunch of those but in regards to the ultimate techniques, um, I do know that Ultra Instinct Goku's ultimate attack falls under the Time Patrol Shop, the Godly Display move, right? So if you guys don't have that and are looking forward to it, uh, again, we do have to tune in every week to see if, you know, it's purchasable, I guess you could say. I do know that there's a bunch of other cool ultimate attacks, like, for example, Divine Lasso, Dragon Fist, Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta's 1... Uh, handed what is it called final shine attack that one and, and one-handed kamamaha from future gohan i believe we get that through the time patrol shop as well so just a bunch of different cool supers divine lasso if i haven't mentioned that one already for week two uh this one the it starts the 28th of april obviously after week one so it, you know it's just going in order to the 4th of may so may seems to be pretty busy for xenoverse 2 right so first off um, again, they're going to be removing the sales of the Time Patrol medals across all the shops. That's going to be on May 16th. And then, a week, about a week or two later, they're going to be dropping the next-gen variation of Xenoverse 2 on May 24th. You know, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series upgrades. So that's going to be great. And we also have, you know, this cycle, this weekly cycle going on. Anyway, for week two, I digress. We have, again, two different types of CC mascots, three ultimate attacks, uh, three gifts, six super souls this time around. One of them is stated. It's called, I have a feeling of death. All right, that's probably like Cooler's a super soul or something. 
or I have no idea. If this is, again, a rough English translation, so it's not going to be the most accurate. So if any of you guys know what this is referring to, comment that down below, because I have no idea what Super Soul this is. Uh, and 23 different types of illustration art pieces once again. So six Super Souls for this week. That's cool. Oh, and by the way, for the ultimate attacks, these very well could be the dual ultimates. As for the third week, this is going to start on the 5th of May to the 11th. Once again, two mascots, three ultimates, two different gifts. And if you guys don't know, the gifts are the presents that we can purchase and we hand them out to the respective cast characters like Goku, for example. That's how we get the Journey to the West outfit. I believe also the End of Z outfit. So if you guys don't have any of that, then uh, be sure to save up on Time Patrol medals to get all the rare items is what they're calling them. Five Super Souls for week three and again, 24 illustrations week four the 12th of may to the 18th uh the basic stuff it seems again no outfits all right so we do have one extra super soul stated my energy will never decrease probably an android super soul or maybe even broly super soul perhaps not sure the fourth week i think this is the fourth week the 19th of may to the 25th again wait so are they even going to be including outfits Wait, I think I just got my hopes up, man. The 6th week, the 26th of May to the 1st of June. Yeah, again, this is going to take place all the way to June. Mascots, ultimate attacks. Only two this time around. Two ultimate attacks for that one, or that week. Uh, three gifts, Super Souls 5, and 23 illustrations. As for the final and 7th week, again, we don't have any outfits listed. Wait, just one minute. Up here, it does say... We can purchase uh, various mascots, loading screens, costumes, and accessories. Wait. So, oh, I think I know what this means. So, of course, they're going to be including the basics, right? The basic items. But as for the rare items stated right here, that's what's listed down below. Wait, so we're not going to be getting any of the rare outfits? The above items may be available for sale at the Time Patrol shop in the future. After purchasing gift items at the Time Patrol Metal Shop, you can hand them directly to each character in Canton City and equip them on the partner customization screen. Yep, those are the unique outfits. Super Oob will appear in Canton City if you purchase the successor of the Devil Pack. If you give Super Oob the gift of Super Oob's outfits and talk to him again, you'll be able to play the extra mission. All right, this was for one of the DLCs, no? I remember that. And yeah, the basic PlayStation Plus paid subscription right there. <laughs> Thank you for your continued support of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Let's go. So I just really wanted to create this video. I think it's pretty epic how they're including rare items back to back for seven whole weeks. So Again, we do have to play all the different missions that provide Time Patrol medals. I know there's like this really good parallel quest that hands out easy medals. Oh, I think I'm going to be making an updated video on, you know, the best mission to uh, get medals. I don't know, because it might still be the same as the previous one I made a while back. Anyway, just really wanted to let you guys know. If you guys are looking forward to any rare items, be sure to, to comment that item down below in the comments. And hopefully we do get some of the outfits, like the Tapion suit. I need to tune in. I specifically have to tune in every week to see what's going on with the quote-unquote rare items, right? Thank you guys for the immense support. Just wanted to keep you guys updated what's going on with Xenoverse 2. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!